Hey everybody, it's the monkey. I uh, got a really cool video for you tonight. Um, everybody's probably read about it, heard about it, um, seen pictures of it. The new feature coming out, Deep Vault, uh, previously Deep Trust. Tonight I actually get the opportunity to share it with you, so I'm really excited about that. So without further ado, let's bring it up. So here we go. Right away, you're going to notice you have Deep Vault listed up here um, as a new button, basically. When you click on it, you're going to be presented with this screen. I'm going to mention to everybody that this is not a final version. So some things that you see here may change between now and when the final one is released. But this is it's pretty close. OK, a lot of testing has gone into it and um, you know, we feel like we're pretty close. Uh, anyways, you're going to see you have two options here. You either want to A, register a document, or B, verify a document. And when you think about it, this is basically kind of two features in one. You have the, the, the opportunity to uh, register or verify. So in this case, we're going to register. I've already been in here, so you can see there's a file already here so you notice select the document for hashing this is the file that you want to be later verified by either a yourself or b the general public or whoever it might be right so if i hadn't had that file in there i would have clicked on file uh, excuse me browse file um, i would have gone to the desktop here it is here we're going to double click it uh, the next option enter the file owner's deep onion wallet address um, this is basically your address. So uh, what we'll do is we're going to go to, excuse me, we're going to go over to receive coins uh, for testing. We're going to right click on this. We're going to go copy address. Go back to default. Default, excuse me. Paste that in here. Now, just underneath, you're going to see check here to restrict the file verification to the wallet containing the above address. What this means is, do you want to allow other people to verify it, regardless of what their wallet address is, or do you want to be the sole person capable of verifying this file? So in this case, we're going to leave it as just myself. So we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at like that. Um, and then we're going to go submit request. I'll put in my password. We hit OK. Right here, you notice that it costs one onion to register the file. It is free to verify the file. So anybody that wants to verify the file, they're simply paying one onion to do it. And everybody else after that can verify it for free. So we're going to hit yes. And there we go. We see the transactions gone through here and congratulations, your document, you know, blah, 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 uh, has been uh, registered with the blockchain. Now, this can take up to 30 minutes to verify the, 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 the document's authenticity. So at this point, I'm going to take a little break and uh, I'll come back in about 20 minutes and we're going to then verify the document. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, in the first part of this video, we looked at how to register a file to the Deep Onion blockchain. Now what we're going to do is we're going to verify that the file's integrity hasn't changed in any way. So we click on, I want to verify a document. We're going to click just under here, select the document for verification. We're going to click on browse file. We're going to go back to our original file. Now. In most cases, it, it won't be the original file. You won't just have it on your desktop. Maybe you it's in your downloads folder or wherever you maybe got it off the internet or received it in an attachment. Whatever the case may be, you're going to want to browse to that file. Uh, in here, enter the owner's Deep Onion wallet address for this file. So this is where you're going to paste that address from the previous section of my video uh, into this box right and this is the original person who registered that file on the blockchain okay these two things they need to match so at this point we're going to click on submit request the request is now going to check that file for us so we click it 
And there we are. Congratulations, your document is authentic and unaltered since your last registration, since its last registration in the Deep Onion blockchain. So you can now open that file and be 100% confident that it hasn't changed in any way, shape, or form. It has, if it's a legal document, the lawyers haven't altered it in any way, shape, or form. If it's an executable, you don't have a virus in it, it's safe to open. Whatever the case may be, you have confirmed it, that it's safe, okay? So I hope that's been clear to everybody. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any comments, please post them below and uh, look forward to talking to you again. Take care, everybody. Bye.